Hey y'all, I'm Dr. Joy Horton Bradford, a licensed psychologist in Atlanta and the creator of Therapy for Black Girls. I'm so excited to be one of your speakers for Breathe and Own, and I'm happy to share with you today a little bit about what I think it means to breathe. I think it means being bold, so being exactly who I am, no matter where I am. I think it means being resilient, so trusting and knowing that I have the capabilities and the resources to overcome any obstacles that I may face. I think it means being excited, excited about the opportunities and the things that are happening in my life, but also in the lives of so many people in my circle and my community. I think it means being attuned, being really connected to my intuition because it has not steered me wrong yet. I think it means being transparent, so it's important for me to act and to lead from a place of honesty and integrity. I think it means being heart-centered, so before I make any decision, I want to check in with myself about how I'm really feeling about a situation. And I think it means being engaged, so it's really important for me to always be in conversation with my community to make sure that I'm doing what I need to do to best serve them. When I've had the experience of having the breath knocked out of me, as we all do sometimes, it has been important for me to, one, allow that moment to pass, and then to check in with myself to see what happened there. So what kinds of things do I need to do? How can I be more intentional going forward so that I don't necessarily end up in that same place again? It's also been really important for me to rely on my circle when I've had the breath knocked out of me. So my husband is incredible at helping me to stay calm and grounded. And my girls are always great for breathing life into me and helping me to kind of stay connected to my passion. So today, I hope that you will be able to be intentional about creating some time and space for yourself to actually breathe and to really pay attention to what your needs and desires are. No matter what anybody tells you, those things are incredibly important and I really want you to prioritize that for yourself today. I hope to be able to chat with you real soon. Take care.